Welcome everybody to CWR Unhinged, the event we have all been waiting for as the much anticipated main event, the ladder match between Chris Iron and Ryan Chambers for the CWR Championship is tonight. But up first we have Adam and he dubs himself the main event McCarley against Corona Joe. McCarley has a microphone there, let's hear what he has to say after after we get the technical difficulties solved. Okay, so the last time I was out here, what? I had a match against Chris Iron. What? The number one contender for the CWR Championship. What? Thought I had a good match going back and forth. Fought my hardest. I get it. I took him to his limit. And Brian Chambers, the CWR Champion, has taught me a lot. He's my inspiration. He's the reason I'm here. But I did not need his help to beat Chris Iron. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I had him right where I wanted him before oh, Ryan yeah. came out. And I appreciate everything he's done for me. I just didn't need his help to get the job done. And it shows he has a lack of confidence in me. And so here tonight, I'm going to prove to Ryan and everyone else that I can hold my own in You're here. A no liar. You're a liar. Well, there you go. Adam McCarley saying that You're he did not need the... What is... What? What in the world? We've never heard this music before. I know that's not Corona Joe. Definitely not. <laughs> what in the world? What? Who? Who are these? What are? What is with those shorts? I, I don't even know what to say right now. And it looks like McCarley is just as confused as we are. We've not heard anything about any new signings in the season. I, this, this isn't on my uh, run sheet for the uh, event tonight. Well, uh, they have a microphone. Let's hear what they have to say. Cool story, bro. <laughs> <laughs> See, who are you? We are the Bromance. You heard that right. The Bromance. Yeah! The fans really getting behind. And kicking ass. <laughs> you say, you said that your hero is the cool guy, Ryan Chambers? The CWR champion, yes. The guy can't win a match without the help of the fallen. And you're saying that you didn't need his help to beat Chris Iron? No, I didn't. I had it. <laughs> you didn't have a liar. You were unconscious right there for the three count against a guy who can't even beat Ryan the Cool Guy Chambers. Oh my goodness, brother. And you say, you say, that you didn't need Ryan Chambers' help? Dude, you needed his help to beat a guy who can't even win a match to see who CWR. you are. Big time. Big time. When was the last time that Chris Iron dude even won a match? I don't even think he's won a match. Has he won a match? It's Chris Iron won the match. They dub themselves the Bromance, and it doesn't seem that they're too impressed with the top two wrestlers in the CWR, being the cool guy Ryan Chambers. They basically trashed half the CWR roster right there. They they have some big mouths, but I wonder if they can back up their talk there. Well, now we just, uh... Well, it seems like we are still going to have our match between Adam McCarley and Corona Joe. Here's a wait for a Corona Joe's arrival. There you hear that Mexican music. 
And there he is. Oh, you hear that? That's, his name? that's not Corona. That is El Hapo Blacko. I talked to him a little bit backstage. I couldn't understand a damn word he was saying. Except I caught that his name was El Hapo Blacko. El Hapo Blacko, huh? El Hapo Blacko. Well, there you see Corona Joe entering the ring. Corona Joe, a very big fella. Both these guys from the Mexican promotion here joining the CWR roster, maybe here on a full-time basis now. I think Corona Joe has had one too many tacos. Maybe more than one too many tacos. That is one big Mexican right there. But he has no slouch in the ring, and I think he definitely has the power advantage over the main event. So how could he not have the power advantage? Look at the size of this man. And there you go, collar elbow tie up in the center of the ring. Oh, and Corona Joe tossing McCarley like he's nothing, and Corona Joe getting pumped right there. Well, Corona Joe looking for his first win here in CWR. I want to go back to the... Uh, to what we saw at the top of the show, McCarley saying that he did not need the cool guy's help to beat Chris Iron, but from what I saw, Chris Iron had uh, McCarley beat, and the crowd I think agreed with me. They are they are one ruthless crowd calling McCarley a liar. Oh, you're definitely right. Chris Iron definitely had Adam McCarley pinned last week if it wasn't for the interference of the CWR champion Ryan Chambers. McCarley was down for the three count, but right now let's see if uh, McCarley can back up his words and beat Corona Joe here in uh, his second match in CWR. This is this is both of their second matches, if I, if I recall correctly. You are correct. Both of these men looking for their first big win here in Championship Wrestling Revolution. And McCarley trying to uh, to get the crowd on his side, playing to him a little bit, but they are not having any of it as McCarley takes out the knees of the big man. You know, if you look back and Adam oh. McCarley with a huge dive over the top rope, very impressive move. A very nice suicide dive over that top rope. You go back to Adam McCarley trying to get the fans on his side. You look back in the history of professional wrestling, fans never tend to get behind the, uh, the fans that come into the ring, and you would think it'd be the opposite. Adam McCarley was one of them at one point and is now in the ring, and maybe the fans are resentful of that. Maybe they wish they could be in there, and Adam McCarley's just living the dream. Well, there you go, Adam McCarley with a very nice cross body. McCarley was, I was talking to McCarley before the show, and he said that, that the cool guy has showed him a lot since he has gotten here ever since that first day where he showed up at the, the side of the arena and there you see it. speaking of which the cool guys made his way out to the ringside area you know what a support from a carly there you gotta wonder corona joe's probably got to be worried if chamber's gonna interfere in this match as well corona does have uh, his buddy on the outside el hafo blacko and nice i think that's an enziguri there we, we sort of missed it going for a cover one Two only a two count as uh, Corona Joe kicks out the cool guy not happy with that count. McCarley trying to throw Corona Joe into the corner, but reverse it does Corona Joe and then he hits a brick wall of a man. Oh going for that 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 uh, organ hold. Oh and he has it locked in right now. He digs the fingers right under those ribs and grabs the, the kidneys or the liver, whatever side he is on. And there you see La Nieves made his way out to the ringside area. It seems like the, the Mexican luchadors are out here supporting each other. McCarley on the ropes, he has to break it. And a slap to the back after breaking that hold. You know, it doesn't look like much, but that death grip right there can do some serious damage right there. That, that Corona Joe has very, very strong fingers, and he just digs them in. Pressing against those organs in a very nice suplex. I'll go for a cover, but pulls it out. He pulled him up before the three count there. He might have had him. Possibly going for those the three amigos. And there's there's uh there's dos. That's about the extent of the Spanish that I speak. Yeah. Bro, and there's there's number three. Numero trace right there. Take a Spanish class in high school? Yeah, a little bit. Took everything I had to pass the class. La Nieve trying to trying to get a fire under Corona Joe's butt there. Corona Joe just manhandling 
the main event. Adam. Yeah, right now Corona Joe is in complete control of this match. You gotta imagine we're one devastating maneuver away from Corona getting his first big win, getting the three count. I wonder how the rest of the CWR roster feels about McCarley calling himself the main event. That's a little arrogant in my eyes. Yeah, well, you may be right. Maybe he hasn't quite earned that moniker yet, but you never know. This kid's looking to impress, and in his two outings so far, he's been impressive. You have to come up with a win, but he's going to be tough luck to find a win against Corona Joe here in this match. Especially if he keeps doing what he's doing and getting his head ripped off, but he's he's fighting it off right now. Elbows to the gut, and a very nice drop kick sending Corona Joe down in the corner there. Blonde Navy showing some words of support. Oh, and there you saw McCarley bust out one of the cool guys' moves right there. And now McCarley with... Oh, nice devastating arm breaker there. That was a very nice move. I don't think we've ever seen that in CWR. And here it goes. I think he's going for that arm bar. He likes to lock in that arm bar. Oh, and had, had even Corona Joe down for a pin, but Corona getting his arm up there. Oh, and now and Corona out. taps out to the devastating armbar maneuver. That's a hell of a move right there. That's a very nice maneuver. That's something that that cool guy did not teach him. And you and you have to be impressed with Adam McCarley showing here. Very impressive in his first win against Corona Joe in CWR. That was very nice. Up next, we have Woody the Clown versus the Nightmare Christopher Crossworth. Should be a good one. <laughs> 